good morning and welcome to episode three of vlogmas today is third of december i think this will be an all weekend vlog i don't know what's going to be in it yet we'll see what we end up doing this weekend but if you're new here welcome and if you're a returning viewer i really appreciate you coming back um if you haven't subscribed yet please consider subscribing and if you like this video give it a thumbs up and if you don't want to miss out on any episodes do click the notification bell i'm planning to um, share what i get up to over the next few weeks plus i also have some tutorials to share with you um and probably a knit and chat video because i've got a few topics i would like to chat about <laughs> and a few like christmasy projects i want to do so a bit of everything um and of course yarn advents uh, i have decided what i'm going what i'm going to make with one of my yarn advents i will reveal that in a minute but my name is Anakin. i live in the southwest of england in cornwall uh, where it is a little bit overcast windows over there that's what i'm looking out it was it looked like it sun was trying to break out earlier but now it's quite cloudy looks like it might rain it's quite windy we are going to take the dog for a walk probably on the moors if it doesn't start raining and then i'm hoping this afternoon if it doesn't rain that we'll go to foy which is a nearby town it's about half an hour away very pretty seaside town uh they have their christmas market on this weekend it started last night last night was like an after dark once it started at like five o'clock and i just didn't fancy going down there yesterday evening i thought it's probably going to be quite busy so we're going to go down this afternoon i think as long as it doesn't rain i don't fancy going around if it's raining if it's raining we might wait till tomorrow so first thing i'm going to do is chat about advents um and then we'll see what the rest of the day brings so i'll try and film a bit while we're walking the dog on the moors if it's not raining and i will film a bit when we go to foy this afternoon but this today or tomorrow this will probably be a two-day vlog unless i film a lot today i did cast them for a new project last night which i forgot to bring upstairs with me so i'll show you that later i'm quite hot at the moment i don't know why um yeah so let's have a look at the advents first okay so i've actually already opened them on instagram um so i'm going to not move my camera but this is the botanical yarn so let me just get the other two out i'm popping them back in their cubby holes just to keep track of them so day one day two day three so we're going lighter i think we're going to end up with some purple at one point because um there was like a mood board color palette mood board type thing on the sales page and that had a lot of purple and teal in it and we're on the teal end now so i'm assuming we're going to get some purple at some point but that's today so it's going lighter um i think with that advent i'm going to make a um i don't know what to call it a shawl again wrap it card wrap it again basically a cross between a shawl and a cardigan um i've made one before i can't remember what it's called is it trevian trevian i think it's trevian i don't know i'll if i can i'll see if i can add a photo if i can work out how to add a photo of the screen and i know because i'll have 20 grams times 24 so i'll know i'll have about over 400, 480 grams um I'll have more than enough to make that and to make it slightly wider than last year's uh, than i made before and i think that might be better than a shawl because i just think it's going to make a really huge shawl for my latest um brioche shawl which i've just blocked yesterday which if you watched the last episode you will have seen i finished it i didn't share the final block photos just because um I just worry that it's going to spoil the fun for some people i've already shared quite a lot in my youtube videos but i don't want to spoil the fun but the pattern should be out next week and then there'll be a vlog as well um so i that took 200 grams of each color and that's huge so if i'm doing something lacy that's going to be bigger what i am thinking is that i might do a lacy shawl again with one of the advents and a brioche one with the other that is one option uh, i think the this kind of <laughs> shawligans uh, are quite a good idea if you fancy something a bit lacy or a bit shawl like um but don't want to do a shawl because you don't think you're going to wear it i will i was also thinking about doing a poncho because i li really like ponchos so that's another option and i haven't decided yet um i'm not gonna be able to cast on this weekend uh, because i want to finish this brioche cow i cast on 
um, the one I cast on last night is for a friend for Christmas and I'm hoping we might be able to meet up next week but I haven't been in touch with her yet so if we do I want to try and finish it but if we don't then I need to post it by the end of next week so I'm going to try and see if I can finish do as much of that as possible this weekend and then I also need to unpick the edging of a shawl that's for a magazine because I'm not happy with the edging um one of my sample nippers knitted it and it's not her fault but when I went to block it I just wasn't happy with the edging so I've decided to go back to my first idea which was to do a knitted on edging and then I kind of changed my mind because it was going to take more effort to write up the pattern um before we went to no it's when October I was really busy when I wrote up the pattern um so because the magazine didn't give me a specific deadline they just said do for whenever I am going to undo the edging and re-knit it and I thought I would get it done this weekend but I haven't even unpicked it yet so that's a job for today to unpick the, this edging unfortunately I can't really share that because it's going to be a fur magazine anyway I've been chatting for long enough so um did I show you the what the luxury yarn advent I don't think I did I'm going mad. I think I showed you the Botanical Yarns one, but I don't think I showed you the Orchidean Luxury Yarn one. So let's do that one. So that is today's advent. So we're going from pink to peach. And that is today's little um, stitch marker. I'm going to get a little pot up here to put all the stitch markers in. There is supposed to be a pot in the final um, day for all the short pins. But that was day one. So quite bright pink, and then a lighter pink. And now we're going to peach. Um, I think this is probably going to be more of like a rainbow type advent rather than a like a rainbow fade type advent covering more colours than the botanical yarn ones. Um, anyway, that's it. I'm going to go and get some to eat and then we're going to go out and walk the dogs. Okay, time for day three of the Spectrum Fibre Advent Calendar. Four. Ah, three. There it is. So. Oh, I think we're going more. I think it's going to be quite an orange heavy advent calendar. Um. Oh, okay. I wasn't expecting that. So that's like a speckly orangey. It's not quite as orange as it looks on my phone. It's got a bit of green in it. So that was day two, and that was day one. So it's definitely like a fade going on here. I like that.
Hello, it is uh, day four. It's 4th of December today. This is going to be a vlog that's going to join in with yesterday's vlog because I did film a lot yesterday. So we bought a dog yesterday, which you've already seen at this point in the video. And um, we also went to Foy for the Christmas market. Foy is a lovely seaside town, very popular. Simon went into a shop and the lady behind the counter said that it was been a crazy busy day we were there in the afternoon it was still really busy i was hoping it'd be a bit quieter i took kind of the uh, logic of yarn shows where the afternoon is usually a lot quieter that wasn't the case <laughs> before it was packed especially the food monkeys they had like three monkeys i think one medium-sized food monkey which we tried to go in but it was just packed and we went out and then tried again on the way back to the car and it was still packed so we gave up um and then there was like a small monkey and then there was like a big monkey on the main key uh side in foy um a lot of jewelry a lot of handmade soaps and skincare stuff um some dog accessories um what else was there um loads of gin loads of food uh, we did buy a couple of things, but not actually from the Christmas market. We bought a couple of things from the regular shops in Foy. Foy is very popular, and the lady that Simon spoke to in one of the shops said that it was busier than Regatta Week. Regatta Week is a big festival, week-long festival in Foy in the summer, where they have a sailing regatta, I guess, and loads of other things. They used to have the uh, Red Arrows um, come and do a display. They're like uh, the Air Force, Royal Air Force acrobatic flying team, whatever they're called. Um, they used to come and do a display. I don't know what they still do, but it's a big thing and um, it's usually very busy. We, I don't think we've ever been to Foy in Regatta Week because it just sounds like it's packed full of people. So I don't think we've ever been, but a friend of mine, actually her and her husband are both actually grew up in Foy. <laughs> so she's she goes quite regularly, so she's told me it's packed and frankly yesterday was busier. So that's great, very pleased with Foy. Um, yeah, didn't buy anything. I was looking for presents for my parents and I didn't get anything. So we got a couple of stocking filler type things for the girls. Um, so that was good. Anyway, it is Sunday morning. It is quite late. It's 10 past 11 now. I have, I got, I woke up earlier today than I did yesterday, did yesterday. But I watched a bit of telly. I did my Spanish practice on Duolingo. I did, I didn't do any knitting, but I unpicked the cast off for the shawl that I need to redo the edging. I was going to unpick the edging and do a knitted on edging. That's going to take me quite a long time and I don't want to spend all week on this. So what I've decided to do is just extend the current edging and possibly do like a pico cast off. I can't show you that because it is for a magazine. The reason I'm redoing the edging is because I was struggling to block it out. Um, which is my fault, not my sample this fault. That's all my fault. I designed it. So I'm just trying to counteract that without give myself a ton of extra work because I really want to be able to post it by say Tuesday which means I've got to finish it today so I can block it tomorrow okay so I've opened my other canvas um mechanical yarns is this one so we're still on this teal fade thing going on let me just grab the other three so we I've been putting them back in the cubby hole so we've got that one that one that one and that one so it's definitely a teal fade um my guess is that the teal fade would carry on till day from the top row there's like one two three four rows of cubby holes top row is day one to six and my guess is that the teal fade is going to carry on for those six days and then maybe it'll change we'll see and then what we did in luxury yarns today was this color so we're going into a more peachy thing now and another beautiful stitch marker they're all made the same way the stones i think vary slightly um so we had the other days i'm putting them back in so we had the bright pink to start with a lighter pink a sort of peachy pink and now we've got a peachy color um so that's it for the other encounters loving both of them of course um i'm going to pop this back in the little thing and put it back in the in the bag in the box um so that's my advent stuff for today uh, I'm going to go downstairs. I want to do some cooking today. I really hate cooking um, and most days I, when it comes to dinner time, four o'clock and I start thinking about dinner, I really don't want to cook. So I haven't done this for a while. I try and make a um, couple of things ahead. I want to make a lasagna. My lasagnas, I do them kind of um, with 
they're not genuine lasagnas <laughs> i do them for a while i was just doing vegetable ones um which i quite like but um vanessa said she wanted some meat in there so i added some turkey or chicken mince and i carried on doing that and we quite like them makes them a little bit healthier um also i have a bit of problems with beef and pork because, since i had my gallbladder removed so chicken is better for me and it's lower in fat and i think i think it's healthier so i put a lot of vegetables in um things like um crochets which are called zucchinis in the us um i think i've got some aubergine um what they called eggplant in the states uh some peppers some red onions i think that's it um and then i'm mixing some a tin of uh chopped tomatoes and a tin of uh like pasta sauce and then i fry the minced meat and mix that in and then i cook all that and it's usually enough for two or three lasagnas enough for me and simon and then i'm gonna maybe make one small one for us and one big one that i can save for when my parents come at christmas i'm not sure yet or whether i'll just make a couple of two or three for us like next few weeks and then make a bigger one for my parents just the week before christmas i don't know yet i'll have to see how much i end up with and then i'm also going to make a fish pie normally i wouldn't do both on the same day because standing around the kitchen chopping stuff is not good for my back but i got it all out of the freezer so i'm doing the fish pie as well so i got some i think it's cod uh frozen cod frozen salmon and prawns Normally I get the king prawns, but they didn't have any, so the prawns are quite small. Um, sometimes if I have frozen peas, I might put that in. Um, I don't know if I've got anything to put in. Maybe I'll put some red onion in. I don't know. We'll see. So I don't think the veg, I don't think the meat in the fish is going to be defrosted yet, because I only got it out about nine, a couple of hours ago. So I think that's still frozen. Um, so I'm thinking what I'll do is chop up all the meat all the uh, vegetables for the lasagna um so that's ready to go and then i might make the cheese no i might make the i think i'll make the um sauce the white sauce for the fish pie and then when the fish is ready i can just chop that up up and put in the white sauce i like to chop the fish up i don't like handling fish because i find it a bit slimy and i don't really like fish um so I tend to chop the fish up when it's nearly defrosted, but still a little bit frozen. So I, and then I use a knife, I use a fork to like hold it with, and then I use a very sharp knife to cut it with. It means I don't have to touch it. Same when I cut uh, chicken, by the way. <laughs> I'm a bit, I'm not a cook. Um, so I did that, and then I need to walk the dog. The son is doing some DIY stuff today, so I need to walk the dog. But I wanted, but I also want to get some photographs done. So I've finished. I blocked the um, uh, spectrum fiber advent calendar shawl. And um, by the way, I'll put the spectrum fiber advent calendar opening after this. If you don't want any spoilers, uh, because it is only a twelve day advent. So I don't know what people are doing. Whether they're opening it for the first twelve days of December or. But they're waiting to Christmas and then doing 12 days. Or they're doing every other day. I don't know. I opened mine in November when he first came. So I cheated. Um, but I need to get some photos of that. Because I'd like to send off the final pattern. Copy it to my tech editor tomorrow. For her to do like a final. Hopefully that will be the final check. Um, I haven't added uh, measurements and tension information yet. So she may need to do one more final check after this one. But all the other stuff is more or less done. I made the final edits. There wasn't a lot of edits in this one. So that's good for me. Um, so hopefully when I to add the final information tomorrow, she can check that and then I can release the pattern this week, which I'm quite excited about. I have done a vlog about it, which I'm going to edit this week and, re week and release when I release the pattern. Um, so you'll see more about the shawl then. I'm not going to show you the final shawl now because it's downstairs and I didn't bring it up with me. So I'm going to go and uh, I'm waiting for some to take a break so you can take photographs. I've done my hair. It doesn't look great, but it looks okay, I think. Um, so I'd like him to do those photographs before I walk the dog and mess my hair up. It's dry today, but it looks like it could rain any minute. Okay, let's find day four. Part four. I still think it's going to be like an orangey colour. I must admit I was hoping a bit more pink because I like pink, pink, neon yellow and... But, oh, we're going into more pinks. Excellent. 
Okay, great. I like that. So this is like a corally but with a bit of pink. I don't think this light is the greatest, to be quite honest. And my nails are looking really bad. Still haven't done my nails. Yeah, I really like that. So let's look at them with the other ones. So let me put that one there. So yeah, it's definitely got a bit more pink in it. The light's not good today. And then we have... Oops, hang on. I'm going to show you the mess on my floor. So that's one, two, three, four. This is looking fairly orange, I think. Yeah, I like it. small park it used to just be like a large piece of lawn with a play area but last no some before last last year I can't remember they planted it with a few place a couple of planting areas down the bottom so you can't see there's some benches like that one around there there used to be one goal here so they put up a second football goal and then there's a few planted areas like this and they also put up a new path from the top of the park to the bottom of the park so a lot of um, kids walk across here it's kind of um, a link between a lot of the local housing estates and a local primary school and the local secondary school so loads and loads of kids walk through here on the way to school so they put this path in i wish they put it all the way around the park but they just put it from the top to the bottom but the park is surrounded by houses um, and this park does get used for a lot of dog walkers, kids playing, very very popular park. So I'm wearing my delightful cowl today, it's quite cold, it's bitter, it feels like it's going to rain but it hasn't yet. Well I've just walked over a bit of a hill so I'm a bit warm now so I'm just going to walk home and then pop to the shops and get a few things to finish all the stuff I'm cooking today. So I realised that I haven't actually shown much knitting this weekend. I've done a bit of knitting, not a lot, but a little bit. Um, by the way, if you hear hoovering, Simon's hoovering downstairs. Um, it's about four o'clock now, so light's starting to, um, starting to get dark. I need to get downstairs and finish my lasagnas, my fish fries already. I think we're going to have lasagna for dinner tonight. I had to do them in the slow cooker in the end because I made way too much filling. Um, so that's okay. So probably enough room for us for tonight, and a big one for uh, my parents when they're here over Christmas, I think. Anyway, I thought I'd show you what I'm knitting. Not done a lot of knitting this weekend because we were out a lot yesterday, and today I've been busy doing a lot of different things. So um, not done a lot of knitting. So I did cast on for this cow. Did I cast on for this yesterday on Friday? I think I may have cast on Friday evening, but I didn't knit a lot. On, on it on Friday um, or yesterday so I've just come to the end of my round so I've dropped the contrast colour 
and I need to I really need to click that because I think I did that after the last one when I shouldn't have. Um okay, so I'm just doing a plain brioche neck row now. So that means I'm knitting all the knit stitch brioche knit stitches and slipping all the brioche purl stitches. Um this is basically the same stitch pattern as the Trenor cow, but I'm knitting it as in the round, um, not as a Mobius, just as a normal cow and I am uh, knitting it in a different yarn weight and needle size. I'm going to go and finish up my lasagnas now and then see if there's any vlogmas videos I haven't watched yet. I watched quite a few today uh, while I've been cooking and things and then go and do some knits for the rest of the evening. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or comments please leave them below. You can find everything I've talked about. Well, you can find links to things below this video. Um, links on social media, find me for my newsletter, all that stuff. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing. And I will see you next time. Thank you for watching. One large lasagna to freeze when my friends come. It needs a bit of cheese on top. One small lasagna for tonight for me and Simon. Two fish pies with sprinkled cheese on top for me and Simon. And another uh, lasagna to go in the freezer for me and Simon for possibly in a couple of weeks time. So not bad for loads of cooking today.